Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. We truly honor the Lord this morning. We thank him for being our God and our Savior on this great day. Amen. Who is like the Lord? Nobody, nowhere. So we honor him for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way and just giving us the activity of all of our limbs. Amen. Amen. So right where you are, can you just put your hands together and just thank God for the activity to be able to clap your own hands. Amen. Yeah. On this morning, amen, our scripture is coming from Psalms, the 24th chapter, and you'll find these words recorded. The earth is the Lord's yes. and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Yes. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Yes. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Yes. The one who has clean hands and a pure heart. Yes. Who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek him. Who seek your face, God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors. That the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, yes. that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty. Yes. He is the King of glory. Yes. And I just read out to you Psalms 24 chapter in its entirety, and the word of God is blessed. Amen. Let's petition the throne of God on this morning. God, we honor your great name yes. today. Yes. For you are truly the King of glory. And we come to give you glory, honor, and this morning. Father, first and foremost, we ask for forgiveness this morning as we come before your mighty and holy throne, God. Forgive us of sins that we've committed against your will, whether it was in word, thought, or in deed. We're standing, oh God, in the need of forgiveness, Father. And we say thank you, oh God, as we receive. We thank you this morning, God, for being our way maker. We thank you for being the answer to every prayer we pray. God, we thank you for our We say have your way in the service today, God. Move by the Spirit, move by the power. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that we can look unto the hills from which cometh our help. For we truly know that our help has been coming from you. We say thank you for helping us, God. Thank you for being our strong Lord, God. Thank you for being the one who wraps us up all around us, God. In the late night hours, we thank you for being that comforter, God. We thank you for being our Set free, oh God. Heal me in the name of Jesus. Destroy everything that's not like you, God. In the name of Jesus. For we said that you are a wonder worker. You are a mighty God. You are a just Savior. And you are righteous in your standings, God. And we honor you today. We glorify you, Lord. Look on every pastor, oh God. That was standing upon our shoes today, God. Be their strength, oh God. Be their Like only you can tell. 
presence of God. You encourage like only you can encourage God. You show your love, your grace, and your mercy like only you can do, God. And we say thank you today. We thank you today, God. We thank you today, God, for this is the day that you have made. And we will and we shall rejoice and be glad in it, God. We honor your great name and we lift up your high and holy name. You are holy and you are holy and you deserve holy worship. You deserve holy praise, God. When we witness your presence, we witness your presence today, God, in the name of Jesus. Now watch over our minds, God. Let it line up with your will for our lives. And when we decree and declare that you 
thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Wonder work in you are. Wonder work. Wonder work in you are. Yeah. We humble ourselves in your presence. Well, yeah, and we lift up your name. Yeah. Throughout this world, throughout this world. Yeah. We honor you and we trust you in all things, God. Oh, so unto you be glory.
giving you honor. We lift up clean hands. Yes. We're in your presence, holy hands. We tell you that we love you. We bless you. Bless this word now. Bless this music ministry. God has ushered us into your presence on today. Bless those who are viewing on today. That they may receive a word from you. In Jesus' name. Let every believer shall be man. Come on, clap your hands and give the Lord praise.
Christ. Amen. Take your seats with a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for being here on this morning, being able to be one of the representatives among many across the world who have the ability to preach the unadulterated truth of God and bring you the word even in a time like this. We do not take it for granted anytime the Lord gives us the ability to stand and to declare his word behind this sacred desk. We do not stand in ourselves and our own strength and our power, but we stand in Jesus Christ. In whom Paul says we can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. We've been talking from a subject title, Walk in Your Authority. I'll tell you, this has been a blessing to me as I've been able to teach this word. It has reminded me about so many different things as it relates to what I've been called to. And do understand that even though we preach the word of God and even though we continue to bring the word of God to you, we ourselves need encouraging. Yeah. And we ourselves sometimes fall weak even oh, yeah. as leaders and vessels being used in the household of faith. Here Jesus, again, is speaking with his disciples. And uh, it is for the sake of understanding who he is, uh, not only as their rabbi, not only as their teacher and their leader in the earth from a human or a natural perspective, but it is bigger than that. Yeah. And so he is trying to get them to understand who he is, uh, bringing about a revelation of knowledge to understand that he is not just your rabbi, but he is master, he is Lord. Yeah. He must have lordship, he is savior in your life. And we talk about this as we see that in the old dispensation, working its way into the dispensation of time, whereby all the scripture and all the prophets